grade two drum kit rudiments progress nicely on from the grade one. The first three rudiments to learn are the single strokes, the double strokes and the paradiddles. Except this time, instead of being quavers, you play them as semi-quavers. So each one is for an armadillo. Our feet, however, stay as crotchets. So it'll be one foot to each armadillo. So when you do your single strokes, they would be armadillo with a bass drum and then armadillo with a hi-hat. Obviously, the bass drum goes on the first of each group of four. Make sure you've secured your hands going at a quicker pace first. So working on your single strokes hands first, you know, getting the armadillo, armadillo, armadillo feel. trying the double strokes. Hands first to make sure that you can do your double strokes at the faster pace. So it'll go right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left in your armadillo, armadillo pattern. Paradiddles, these also need to go quicker, so hands first, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Hard to say that quickly, easier to play. Make sure you're really feeling the one on the beginning of each pattern, that will help you keep your feet in the right place. This actually makes the paradiddles easier to have to put the feet in because the feet are the same as the hands rather than uh, opposites as they were in grade one and initial. The next three rudiments are um, a different sort of rudiment. These are ornamental rudiments, so they've got extra notes added a flam has one note before the main beat, a drag has two notes before the main beat, and the four stroke rough has three notes before the main beat. Although they're all similar, we have a, a different stroke movement for each one. Flams are where we add an extra little note before the main note. It's very important to get the um, hand position correct for starting your flams. So the main note needs to be a high stroke and the smaller note needs to be right next to the drum. You then drop the sticks down as you would for your normal stroke with the small one hitting first and being quiet and the main one hitting second and being louder. Now a drag when we do it, so it looks a bit like a flam, but we've got two notes before the main beat. So we're going to do a, a little bounce with the stick like we do wood for a roll, but right near the drum, and then the, the hit follows. So it will go bounce, hit. So instead of kind of a dropping action that we do uh, for the flam, we have a, a sort of like a drag into the main note. So drag, hit, bra, bra. So trying to get those little little notes in nice and cleanly. The four stroke rough needs us to do three small notes before our main note. 
We do this instead of using the drag method and bouncing them to make them really clear to start with and discern them from the drags, we do them single stroke. So before a big right hand, it would be left, right, left, and then your right. Before the left hand main one, right, left, right, left. So we want three small, quiet uh, notes before the main note. Uh, one way I found is good to remember how it should go is to say, go to bed, Tom. And you emphasise the Tom part. So go to bed, Tom. Go to bed, Tom. And we can get that rough work in that way. These will take a lot of practice. Uh, doing it very slowly to really get the difference in stroke. So if you think when we've learnt accents, we've done small strokes and large lifts, it's the same thing. So small strokes on the go to bed and a nice big lift for the tom. When you're adding your feet with your flams and your drags and your ruffs, just uh, make sure that the feet go with the main note. So you'll have a note before or two notes before, etc. Uh, so make sure that your feet go with that last one. So to go through the grade two exercises, if we first look at exercise one, our first bar starts on the snare drum. We have a flam, flam, drag, bass, flam. The flams keep swapping hands, so make sure you follow those. It's good practice to do them different ways, even though most of us will feel more comfortable with one way than the other. Uh, the second bar is focusing on your paradiddles, so hopefully you've got your paradiddles nice and sorted with your feet on the snare drum. With this bar, we move our first hand of each paradiddle to a different tom. So we do a paradiddle, first of all, going from our floor tom back to the snare. So it'll be floor, snare, 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 with our double at the end, and then high snare, 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 before middle snare, 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 and back to high snare, snare, snare. So on the second beat and the fourth beat, they're the same. It's a high snare, 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 starting with your left hand. The third bar, so the beginning of the second line, we start with the floor tom, We've also changed dynamics, so when we do the dynamics that bit uh, is a bit tricky coming round from the forte. So floor tom with bass drum, then a drag on your snare drum, a rough on the high tom uh, before a left foot and then a flam. The rhythm, one, two, three and four. So floor and bass, drag, rough, hat, flam. So just work on making sure you keep that rhythm in there, even though there's a lot going on with the sticks. We then finish with single strokes, going round the kit, so work out where your hands are going first. Floor, snare, snare, high, mid, snare, snare, high, floor. Again, uh, because you're using single strokes, you'll just keep swapping your hands over as you go round. Floor, snare, snare, high, mid, snare, snare, high, floor. And then you can get it a bit quicker. Dun, 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 dun. And you do a drag to your crash cymbal at the end. So once you've got where your hands are going, then add your feet in. The bass, da, 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 hat, da, 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 bass. And then another bass to finish. So you will feel like you want to put your left foot down because we're used to walking them, but it's not there. Getting the dynamics in, we start at mezzo forte. This is kind of our normal range, not making an effort to be any louder or quieter than normal. So the first bar, nice, strong mezzo forte. Then forte in the second bar, so really going for those paradiddles, making them nice and strong. But like I said before, after your last one, left, da, 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 then a quieter, floor tom and bass drum on the beginning of the second line uh, to do your mezzo piano. So a mezzo piano, boom, brap, ba dum dum ching. And then to finish, 
we've got a crescendo so that by the time we get to our crash, we're back at 40. Exercise number two starts with a whole bar of roughs. So hopefully you've practiced them and you're feeling really confident with those ones. Um, a rough onto the snare drum, a rough onto the high tom, rough onto the snare drum, and then a drag to finish. So rough, go to bed tom, go to bed tom, drag. Uh, our double strokes, we didn't have any double strokes in exercise number one. So our double strokes, our left hand stays on the snare drum for the first bit. Uh, while the right hand travels round. So your right stick, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Going round the three toms. And then in our final beat, we do a middle, middle, floor, floor. So you've got to get that different one in there. So right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, middle, middle, floor, floor. So that left hand has to tuck right over to our floor tom there. Following on from that, once you've got the feet working with that one, we do ride cymbal and snare drum paradiddles. So para diddle, para diddle, para diddle, para diddle, with our walking feet. That should be a nice easy bar to go to from all those double strokes. To finish, a crash with a bass drum and then three more roughs. Go to bed tom on the snare, go to bed tom on the high tom, go to bed tom on the floor tom. Again, swapping hands, so make sure you do follow that for the practice. Uh, dynamically, we start mezzo forte and we stay mezzo forte until that last bar where you uh, have a crescendo through your different rough. Exercise number three starts with three drags and then a flam. The difference with these drags from the ones we've been doing before is that we have the drag part on the snare drum and then the hit on the middle tom. Then the drag part on the snare drum and the hit on the high tom. Drag on the snare drum, hit on the floor tom. So the drag's always on the snare drum and the hit changes between the three toms. What we want to hear is middle, high, floor with a little noise on the snare drum beforehand, the two little bounces. So make sure you practice splitting those up to get that sound. Nice flam on the snare drum to finish that bar. Now the second bar might need a little bit of attention to make sure you know where your hands are going. Your feet also have moved out of our normal pattern that we will have learnt from the previous page of rudiments. So learn the hands first. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So high, snare, snare, high, snare, snare, middle, snare, snare, high, snare, snare. So the patterns are in threes, but we're in four notes per beat. Our feet follow the pattern of threes. So you have a, a foot for each tom. So a bass drum with your high tom, left, right on the snare. A hi-hat with your left high tom, right left on the snare. Bass drum with your middle tom, left right on the snare. And then a left hand, left foot uh, on for the last one on the high tom, right left on the snare. We finish quite nicely with just an armadillo on the floor tom and a bass drum. So hopefully you can slowly practice that one up until you can get that one together. Following our armadillo on the the floor tom, we do a crash with the bass, but our dynamics come down, so don't overdo that one. And then a rough on the snare drum, high tom, double, double, so that's floor tom, snare drum, bass, flam. Don't get the basses and the floor toms mixed up when the basses are out of their normal place, uh, being used as part of the pattern rather than just an accompaniment. So the beginning of that second line, crash, rough, high, Floor, floor, snare, snare, bass, flam. And to finish, we've got some double strokes using our ride cymbal again, 
Ride, ride, snare, snare, ride, ride, snare, snare. Then we go round the kit, snare, high, mid, and back to snare, snare, high, mid, snare, crash. Okay, again, watch out for the two bass drums at the end, like in exercise one. I think that can slightly catch you out because we've been practicing walking our feet. Dynamically in exercise number three, mezzo forte, forte, mezzo forte, crescendo back to forte. So watch out for those changes, especially as you come around the line uh, to doing something different, be prepared for that change. <laughs> 